Yo, what's poppin'? So this is basically step-by-step -step guide on how to win your cash cup games. Shout it bad, oh, it's getting time. I'll cover everything from the early game, mid game, and end game. I'll show you three examples of how I won my cash cup games. So basically, I'll cover every single scenario that you need to know on how to win those cash cup games. By the way, 85% of you are not subscribed, which I'm pretty sure is illegal at this point. So make sure to change that super quick and of course drop a like. But now let's jump in. To this video and by the way these games were super super stacked so down below in the description and the comments i'll leave a link to the best discord that you can join to practice these type of stacked games make sure to join that discord and verify your account it's really easy to do you simply use unite bots and they basically give you every single step that you need to verify your account so make sure to join those down below in the description and the comment section so the biggest tip i can give you for early game is if you don't have the best loot or if you're not confident in winning the fight then just leave it is as simple as that and well that is exactly what i do i just simply dip out i know there's more than one person in here so i just simply decide to dip out and loot up somewhere else so this guy starts shooting me mid game now i hate taking mid game fights but i have to take this one there's no way i can escape from this guy since there's sand and crystals all around so i'm basically forced to take this fight so of course what i do is take high ground instantly so this guy starts build fighting me like an absolute psycho i don't know what he's doing but i managed to dookie on him pretty quick there and of course as expected a third party starts chopping us down now honestly i don't know what this guy was thinking he literally just ramped me like that doesn't make any sense but okay dude so i managed to beam him again this guy's playing like an absolute psycho i don't know what he's thinking but then he bounces and well that's a free kill for me bro but wait the fight is not over of course it's a third party and bro this guy was even crazier really unfortunate but i managed to escape somehow i should have died not gonna lie he literally boxed himself in in the wrong box by accident Okay, this guy just jumps on my box like a complete psychopath. And well, that's a free kill for me, dude. I don't know what this guy was thinking. Bro, these keys are not smart. So then, of course, I box up in the center of the zone by an area that I can farm back. Dude, this harpoon literally won me the game. You'll see why just in a second. So this guy made a huge mistake while boxing up. If you ever get lobby focused, well, this is why. Look at where he boxed up. There's literally no builds or anything around him. He's in the middle of everyone, which of course caused him to get well focused focused by the whole lobby you want to block line of sight from other players feels <laughs> bad man so as on pulse i just simply go above this guy pretty simple nothing too crazy as soon as the next zone pops up, I make sure to mark that zone. Marking it is so, so useful. You can see exactly where it goes. And also, it is so important to plan your next rotate when the zone pops. So of course, my plan is to bounce her. By the way, I make sure to land on mid ground, not low ground, because I want to bounce her even more. So of course, the higher you are, the easier it is to bounce her far. Now this right here is huge. When you're in the end game, so many people are gonna try to hop in your box. And look, I literally predicted what this guy was gonna do. He was trying to psycho in my box and I was ready for it. In this game, the harpoon saved me twice. Look at this, I had one build and now I have way, way more. But the second harpoon is the reason I won the game. Just keep watching. Look at the mats I'm able to get from this guy. Literally, max mats in endgame. Now this right here is gonna win you so many games. Simply looking up at high ground is the most important thing you can do while in endgame. And look what happens, literally no one is even high ground. And that is not just me being lucky, you'll see in the other game the exact same thing happened. I swear there's so many cases where high ground is completely free and people don't look up. Just simply look up, that's it.
one, give it a let's go. Just make sure to keep height and do not drop down to 50-50. Take angles and you will win the game. Easy dub, dude. So the second game was pretty scuffed. I had zero mats on low ground and I still managed to win. So let's take a look at how I did that. This guy got dropped quick, bro. He was not good. This guy almost got duked on. I almost boxed him, but I missed my edits. The zone pops and I'm sure to get in front of zone every single time. I start building a tarp before zone even moves. And then I try to look back but I don't find anyone. Since I have bounce pads I can stay at the back of the zone and wait for kills. Performance mode by the way, can't see the zone. So right here I am pretty scuffed. I have 12 builds in total, but I just used other people's builds as cover and then I managed to get two eliminations at once. Just take a look. I went to controller mode right there. Again, complete psychopath trying to get in my box. And look, wow, what happened again? The high ground is completely free. Literally just looked up and wall height is mine. Of course, not gonna happen every single game. Like for example, next game, but in so many cases, it is completely free. Now this is the final 1v1. I had very low mats and this guy basically had infinite mats. It's insane. So he goes up for a high ground and well, I cannot contest him. I have basically no mats. So of course I drop down. And as he goes down that hill, so of course I drop down where the builds are. And I noticed that he is on wood, so I just simply pressure him and while well, he falls to his death. Okay, no, this game was ridiculous, dude. This was a sand zone. So rotates are so, so easy. Like I don't even have to build, I just simply stay in sand and I'm chilling. Why did he do that, brood? Look at the amount of people in sand. Dude, this reminds me of Ballers in chapter 1. Like, dude, this is hilarious to watch. Look at this god spot. This is one of my subscribers, so if you're watching, what's up, dude? By the way, a new height had RPG, so you always have to listen and pay attention to that. Now I'm not getting insane during the end game because there's basically no space to move around and you can get boxed super easily. So 1v1v1, one one, I know height has RPG. Now look at this, I heard height drop down. So this was my time to shine and take height from him. So look at what I do. I look where he is exactly and all I do is simply bouncer up with one bouncer and boom high ground is mine. I saw that he was distracted and well I took height. It's that simple. Now right here I literally have zero builds, so of course I have to bounce her down. That's free right there. Now I knew this guy was white, so he had no shield, so I simply bounced her up with full HP and well, that's a free win. Chill, chill, chill. One guy left. Okay, one. <laughs> then of course I started singing, because who doesn't you can if you win? Shut it bad, it's good time. Lights up, lights up, sketch. Sorry. 
So right, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more of these type of videos, then just drop a like, subscribe, and of course comment down below, letting me know that you want to see more of these videos. And make sure to join that Elite Customs Discord where they host money games. So make sure to join that down below. And by the way, code autoclick in the item shop. Thanks. But alright boys, peace out and bye bye.